Organic farming is a way to grow food that works with nature. It does not use harmful chemicals like pesticides and fertilizers. Instead, organic farming uses natural methods to keep the soil healthy and crops growing. This is better for the environment, the people who eat the food, and the farmers who grow it. In India, organic farming is not new. For centuries, farmers have been using traditional methods that are in harmony with nature. But with the introduction of industrial agriculture, many of these practices were forgotten. Now there is a growing movement to return to organic farming. This is because people are becoming more aware of the problems caused by chemical-intensive agriculture. These problems include soil degradation, water pollution, and health risks to farmers and consumers. Organic farming offers a solution to these problems. Organic farming is based on four main principles, health, ecology, fairness, and care. These principles guide every aspect of organic farming, from the soil to the seed to the plate. The principle of health emphasizes the connection between the health of the soil, the plants, the animals, and the people. Organic farming aims to produce food that is nutritious and safe to eat, while also promoting the well-being of all living things. The principle of ecology recognizes that farming is an ecological system. Organic farmers work to enhance biodiversity, protect natural resources, and maintain the balance of nature. The principle of fairness emphasizes social justice and equity. Organic farming supports fair trade practices, respects the rights of farmers, and promotes access to healthy food for all. The principle of care encourages farmers to act responsibly and with foresight. Organic farmers are stewards of the land, and they make decisions that will benefit future generations. To ensure that products labeled as organic meet specific standards, certification programs have been established. These programs set strict rules and regulations that farmers must follow. This includes using only approved inputs, keeping detailed records, and undergoing regular inspections. In India, the National Programme for Organic Production, or NPOP, is the main certification body. NPOP sets standards for organic production, processing, and labeling. Products that meet these standards can carry the India Organic logo, which assures consumers that the product is genuinely organic. Organic certification is important because it provides transparency and accountability. It gives consumers confidence that the organic products they buy are truly produced using environmentally friendly and socially responsible practices. Healthy soil is the foundation of organic farming. Organic farmers understand that soil is not just dirt, it is a living ecosystem teeming with beneficial organisms. These organisms play a vital role in nutrient cycling, disease suppression, and soil structure. Organic farmers use a variety of practices to improve soil health. These include crop rotation, cover cropping, composting, and the use of organic fertilizers. Crop rotation involves growing different crops in a planned sequence to break pest cycles and improve soil fertility. Cover cropping involves growing non-cash crops, such as legumes, to cover the soil between main crops. This helps to prevent erosion, suppress weeds, and add organic matter to the soil. Composting is the process of decomposing organic matter, such as crop residues and animal manure, to create a nutrient-rich fertilizer. Organic fertilizers, such as compost and vermicompost, provide plants with essential nutrients in a slow-release form. They also improve soil structure, water holding capacity, and microbial activity. Section 5 keeping pests at bay, naturally. Organic farmers use a variety of ecological methods to manage pests and diseases. These methods work by preventing pest problems from arising in the first place, and by using natural predators and pesticides to control pest populations. One important strategy is to create a diverse and balanced ecosystem on the farm. This includes planting a variety of crops, encouraging beneficial insects, and providing habitat for wildlife. A healthy ecosystem is more resilient to pest outbreaks because natural predators help to keep pest populations in check. Organic farmers also use a variety of natural pesticides such as neem oil, garlic spray, and Bacillus thuringiensis or Bt to control pests and diseases. These pesticides are derived from natural sources and are less toxic to the environment and human health than synthetic pesticides. Section 6. The Promise of Organic Healthier Farms, Healthier People Organic farming offers a wide range of benefits for the environment, human health, and the livelihoods of farmers.
by eliminating the use of synthetic pesticides and fertilizers, organic farming helps to protect water quality, reduce greenhouse gas emissions, and conserve biodiversity. Studies have shown that organic foods are often more nutritious than conventionally grown foods. They contain higher levels of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Organic foods are also free from genetically modified organisms, or GMOs, and harmful pesticide residues. For farmers, organic farming can provide higher incomes, greater job satisfaction, and improved health. Organic products often fetch premium prices in the market and organic farming practices can reduce input costs and increase farm profitability. Section 7. Organic in Action. Stories from the field. Across India, there are countless inspiring examples of farmers successfully practicing organic farming. In the southern state of Andhra Pradesh, a farmer named Ramakrishna Reddy has transformed his land into a thriving organic farm using the principles of zero-budget natural farming, or ZBNF. ZBNF emphasizes the use of locally available resources, such as cow dung and urine, to create natural inputs that nourish the soil and protect crops from pests and diseases. Reddy's farm is a testament to the fact that organic farming can be both productive and profitable. In the northern state of Sikkim, the entire state has transitioned to organic farming. This remarkable achievement is the result of a long-term commitment from the government and the active participation of farmers. Sikkim's organic success story has inspired other states in India and around the world to explore the potential of organic agriculture. Section 8. The Obstacles to Overcome – Challenges in the Indian Context Despite its many benefits, organic farming in India faces several challenges. One major challenge is the lack of awareness and understanding about organic farming among farmers. Many farmers are still unaware of the principles and practices of organic farming, and they may be reluctant to adopt new methods. Another challenge is the limited availability of affordable organic inputs, such as seeds, fertilizers, and pesticides. The market for organic inputs is still developing in India, and farmers may face difficulties in sourcing these inputs at reasonable prices. Marketing and distribution also pose challenges for organic farmers. The organic market is still relatively small in India, and farmers may face difficulties in finding buyers for their produce at fair prices. Additionally, the lack of proper storage and transportation facilities can lead to post-harvest losses. Section 9. The Helping Hand Government Initiatives and Support Recognising the importance of organic farming, the Indian government has launched several programmes and initiatives to promote organic agriculture in the country. These initiatives aim to address the challenges faced by organic farmers and to create an enabling environment for the growth of the organic sector. The Paramparagat Krishi Vikas Yojana, or PKVY, is a flagship program that promotes organic farming through a cluster-based approach. Under this program, farmers are provided with financial assistance for organic inputs, training and certification. The National Mission for Sustainable Agriculture, or NMSA, also supports organic farming through various interventions, such as promoting organic fertilizers, developing organic value chains, and creating awareness about organic farming. Section 10, a call to action, embracing the organic revolution. The transition to organic farming is not just a matter of changing farming practices. It is a paradigm shift that requires a collective effort from all stakeholders, including farmers, consumers, policymakers, and businesses. Farmers need to be educated and empowered to adopt organic farming practices. They need access to affordable organic inputs, training, and information. Consumers can play a crucial role by demanding organic products and supporting organic farmers. Policymakers need to create policies that incentivize organic farming and make it easier for farmers to transition to organic practices. Businesses can invest in organic agriculture, develop organic value chains, and promote organic products to a wider consumer base. Section 11. Conclusion. Towards a sustainable and equitable food future. Organic farming offers a viable and sustainable alternative to industrial agriculture. By embracing the principles of ecology, health, fairness, and care, 
Organic farming can help to create a food system that is good for the planet, good for people, and good for farmers. The journey towards an organic future will require commitment, collaboration, and innovation. But the rewards are immense. By transitioning to organic farming, we can create a healthier, more just, and more sustainable food system for generations to come.